We have a yeah. group that we were thinking about going this weekend with. Oh, wow. And this is why it brought tears I kind to of your put, eyes. Yeah, I put the cost together and thought, oh, yeah. no, not, not the best time. So we didn't go. And, um, you know, I was looking at the uh, different boats and the sizes of the boats, and they're mm -hmm. all typically anywhere from 60 to 75 feet. So I was a little worried that it was the group that we went with. Yeah. But then you think about it, and, um, you know, if it's not necessarily the group we went with, we may know someone know. on another boat. Because we, sometimes if our group's full, we'll go with a, another um, you know, dive adventure group yeah. just to get on a boat. You're waiting to see if perhaps you may have known or know yeah. someone who was on this. CBS News is confirming that the boat, the company, it's the Conception. Okay. Ha are you familiar with that I company? Am. I am. Dove, it, Truth Aquatics is who owns Conception, and I've dove on um, two of their boats, which is they have a boat called Truth and a boat um, Peace. Okay, and so Conception, explain that again. This is the company that... Yeah, Truth Aquatics is the company that owns Conception. Okay. And typically, like, uh, some of the, you know, companies will own two or three boats. Okay. So the owner of the aquatics company is at the scene and Darla are you saying you've been on the conception before I have not I actually okay. have not been on that boat um, but I've been on others similar to it mm. well I'm hoping that your friends are okay mm -hmm. I know there are a lot of people waking up this morning and hearing about this explosion I'm sure within your very tight-knit community who are just hoping and praying that people are okay yeah and thank you for that insight, Darla. And thank just, you. I know, and and it is so 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 difficult for us to talk about. But for Darla, who is personally tied into this in the diving community, we feel for you, and I'm I'm so sorry that you that you're having to watch and and go through this. And the and the families, you know, we're we're praying that more rescues are made and that the Ventura County Fire and other agencies are working as hard as they can right now to to do just that. But it's it's very um. Dark, it's still dark and I mean obviously it, it's a difficult task that they have and from talking to Darla we've learned that this mm -hmm. boat probably took off a couple days ago intense diving it's exhausting to be in the water for how yeah. many hours do you spend usually on a trip a day um, you usually do four dives a day mm -hmm. and depending on how well you breathe your air you're going to be under the water for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and per what, dive. And what breaks my heart or what's so scary to think about is, the, is are all ages that you're saying your teens, right. as young as, I I'm mean. 10 years old. My youngest is 10. And certified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wondering how many kids were on board this. Right, because you, know. you wonder with the three-day weekend and mm -hmm. everyone having off who could oh. get away. Okay. And we have a picture from the boat of the website of the owner of the Conception. Who's We're going it? to bring yeah. it up right now. Okay. That's what the boat looked like, obviously, before this. Can you describe the setup of the boat, Darla, to us? So all of your dive equipment is going to be on the very back there. And then the galley, which is that kind of middle section, would be the kitchen and everywhere where everyone would hang out and eat. And then the top portion in the front would be the captain's headquarters, where typically the crew will sleep or take their naps and then where the galley's at there's should be stairs on either side that would lead you down to the very bottom of the boat where all the bunks were and, and that's what's so heartbreaking yeah. knowing that most people mm -hmm. were underneath right with mm -hmm. a very tiny area to get in and out mm -hmm. yeah and with the flames shooting up off the top and uh, the boat conception by truth aquatics mm -hmm. Um, apparently, uh, Suzanne, you mentioned the owners there at the scene, but they, we, we, continue, we have called and we will keep up our phone calls to try to get some sort of information, but they've said no comment. Um, obviously, they're trying to deal with this uh, tragic accident right now. Um, CBS News confirmed the name, though, the conception, this, this diving boat. As you take a look at the flames, the boat on fire there with the, uh, in the background, the firefighter in the forefront. Uh, just trying to put out the fire. Uh, I, we haven't gotten word on if the flames are out um, or if the boat at this point, if they're, if they're able to get on the boat or what kind of stage we're at because this is obviously out there in the water still. It's Santa Cruz Harbor area. And you think about the amount of fuel. Can we talk about yeah. the oxygen tanks and all of yeah. the uh, possible flammable things that are on board? Oh, yeah. I mean, every tank that's on there and then the... Um, compressor that's on there to fill the air. I mean, 
they are coming to the end of the weekend, so yeah. I can imagine that it is it was probably getting low, but it's still you know very fam flammable, mm -hmm. you know air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course, we don't know the cause of the sure. fire or if it was an explosion, then a, then a fire. Of course, we just see flames. Mm -hmm. But are there warnings on the boat not to smoke or anything that you can think of that? Oh, yeah, they don't want us smoking mm -hmm. or anything like that. And the know? meals are pretty basic. I mean, is there a lot of, uh, you know, gas? I mean, in terms of a gas stove, do, or do you remember seeing any of that? I'm just wondering uh, yeah, how is, much flammable it Yeah, is. there is stove, but they probably yeah. run off the same tank right, as... Right what they would fill the air with. It's just, oh, it's just tragic to see these images. And, and you know, at this point, if the boat slowly sinks, you know, after so much of it has been burned, right. uh, before they can even get on board to do their investigation, I mean, that's a concern. How, how quickly they need to get on there to, you know, uh, to find people, to, to get to the bodies. It, it's, it's, it, it's unbelievable that we're, we're talking about this many missing 34 missing five crew members assuming those as darla had pointed out our diving expert here with us this morning who who works with us every morning on cbs2 but uh, the fact that those five crew members are on top mm -hmm. so that's not really a surprise it may be those five were rescued with only minor injuries because they were able to get off so quickly when this happened and that a personal another personal someone's personal boat came and and, and brought at least one of them back to the shoreline uh, to help out because civilian vessels were called in to assist because of the the magnitude of this of this fire and the rescue operation so people trying to good samaritans i'm assuming trying to jump in to help um okay and Suzanne, there's, a, um, there's a website that our producers are telling us about it's called marine traffic and darla we're going to ask you to kind of take a look at this it shows the arc and the travel of the conception does this look familiar when you look at santa cruz island which is about 20 miles off of ventura you've been to that area does that look like a familiar sort of path that the boat would have taken yeah they'll typically go back and forth up along the coast i mean if they're going to focus on just santa cruz island mm -hmm. um, they'll typically go you know back and forth and uh, dive at little spots along there and again, we have Darla Fletcher. She is a member of the CBS2 News Morning Team. She is with us every morning and just so happens to be an experienced diver, certified her entire family is. And we are following a tragic, deadly accident of a boat that caught fire, possibly an explosion on board. Five people were rescued, possibly crew members, and 34 people are unaccounted for. We don't know how many people are dead, but we do know there are lives lost. So a tremendous loss this morning, a tremendously stressful and scary situation this Labor Day morning. And Darla, you've been sharing your expertise with us because you have been out there, and this is a live shot of Channel Islands Harbor this morning. Darla, I'm sure this is a very familiar sight to you. Uh, yes, it is. Mm. You and know, we go out of that harbor often. And tell me about the diving community. You said people, you were wondering this morning if you might know somebody. This is a, right. These aren't just weekend trips for a vacation. This is, these are people who are very experienced and go frequently on these trips. Right. It's kind of like a hobby if you went golfing and you mm -hmm. golf with the same people. You know, it, it's that kind of tight-knit community where you meet people on the boats and you run into them all the time. You know, we typically see a lot of the same faces on these boats every time we go. And you go with the family, so it's a family experience. Right. I mean, lots of adults involved too, but mm -hmm. your two boys are, are certified. Yes. You know, we, we try not to drag them out to the cold waters too often, <laughs> but we like to keep up their skills, so we make them come with us sometimes. Talk to me about just what's going through your head right now, your emotions. Honestly, it's just tough to think about, you know, it could have been us. And I, I bring my babies on the boats. And, you know, I don't think twice about something like this happening. And, you know, and I worry. I worry that people that I really care about were out there. And you said you even considered going on a trip this weekend. Yeah, we wanted to go... Um, with our group, um, and they were going to be on a boat called Sea Ray. Um, 
and we were thinking about it and we just realized it was you know a three-day weekend on a dive boat isn't cheap and for a family of four it would get really expensive we love you we, we are here for you um, I, I can't imagine how hard this is when you saw this from your post from your seat there in the operations control room when you saw this news coming in just your shock when, when yeah. you see 34 people on a dive boat and and to be so closely connected to it I can't imagine. Well when I first brought in the video I, I thought oh boat fire you know mm -hmm. sitting in the harbor felt, got on fire and then my husband texted me and said did you hear about the dive boat and I was like no mm -hmm. but I had just brought in the boat fire and I just didn't put the two and two together because I would never think that you know I just didn't think about a dive boat catching on fire but then you think about, <laughs> that's what's, what people don't understand, I guess, when we cover news. We cover things and we try to have an objective stance, but when you realize how close, it's close to things home. Right. come, it's there before the grace of God go I. Yeah, you tend to kind of block it out and just, mm -hmm. you know, it's another news. But when it, it hits close to your, you know, dive community and people that, you know, you really grow and care about like we travel with these people all of our vacations that we're gone for a week at a time we're, we're with these people and you you grow really close to them um, and a lot of them you know we may not all go together but you know typically there's three or four of us that are with each other on each vacation that we go on whether it's Catalina for the weekend or um, we just went got back from Hawaii with our dive group and so you just, you bond with these people. Yeah, so when you hear, okay, more than 40 people on the boat, five were able to get off, which were crew members. Now 34 are missing, yeah. some of those lives lost. It's going to have a ripple effect throughout the community. Now we have a graphic of what the bunk looks like, and you described it already to us, but this shows just yeah. how tight the quarters are underneath the, the top. Yeah. Enough to sleep 30, four people I mean yeah because some of the bunks are single bunks and some are double so you can sleep two to each mm -hmm. bed but it's definitely it's a bunk you've got um, people on a bottom row people on a top and then you see the middle section there that's separated by a wall so you have bunks on each side of those walls mm -hmm. So we know there was a fire on a boat. If you're just joining us at 656, we are going to be continuing on KCAL 9 News after the seven, once the 7 o'clock hour starts. So stay with us. We have Darla Fletcher on set with us. There has been a boat fire off of Santa Cruz Island. More than 40 people were on board. 34 people are officially unaccounted for, but we do know there are lives lost. Five people were rescued. And as Darla said, the crew members usually stay on top, and that sounds about right, mm -hmm. that they were able, if there was an explosion or a fire, they were able to get off just saving themselves immediately. But what's chilling and what I, what I always see in your face when you mention it is there's a tiny entrance and exit, and if there's fire above, mm -hmm. possibly these people were all trapped. Right. And, but, you know, typically, you, you know, you mentioned how they jump off, but mm -hmm. the, the crew members on these boats are usually so caring and so I can't imagine that they didn't, I'm sure they tried. They tried they may have been to forced. help these people yeah. off. Because I can't imagine them just leaving them behind, mm -hmm. like, unless they had to. And that, that's what makes me wonder if the flames were so intense as you just take a look at some photos. Was it too much? Did were they, they have forced another? Off the boat? Sure, mm -hmm. uh, right. you know, and, and at this point, and smoke. You know, when, when I go and cover house fires, it's it's the smoke that's so that that was shocking to me to learn it that that kills you. You know, so fast before yeah, because it takes away the oxygen. So maybe you know you pass out and then you can't move. Right, you're, you're incapacitated. So yeah, so I if mean, you're sleeping, right, and, and you're if not it aware comes of over what's you happening. before you can even get up, yeah. And that's, and that's what, um, you know, dozens fear dead. We don't have an accurate number. We are waiting for a press conference that is expected to take place at some, some point this morning. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to simulcast here, not only on CBS2, but our sister station, KCAL 9. That, that's going to be at 7 a.m. So we're not leaving this coverage. We will continue to bring you coverage. And then network, CBS News, is going to have a special report 
on this. Uh, so they're going to pick that up, and then we're going to continue on KCAL 9 with those details. And Darla, uh, stay with us and, and continue to be here with us to kind of walk us through. You, you've offered expert insight into what these dive boats um, are all about and, and what these people might have been facing. Um, have you begun to reach out to some of your friends just um, to see if they're okay? Not yet, just because I was afraid to wake people up that sure. might be sleeping. Uh, my husband did reach out to a few and he's waiting to hear back. Yeah. And just to catch people up, at 6.59 this morning, firefighters say with the U.S. Coast Guard, 34 people are unaccounted for and five people have been rescued. We know one person was taken on a private boat to Channel Islands Harbor. This is video, of course, that the Coast Guard sent us. You can see the flames, how intense they were, and how firefighters were just pouring water on this boat called the Conception. The owner of the boat hasn't said anything, has said no comment, but of course may be waiting to learn information and doesn't want to put anything out there until it's absolutely confirmed. The call came in around 4 a.m. So as Darla mentioned, that's usually when most people who are diving are sleeping. Right. So when this fire broke out, most of the people on the boat were probably asleep. Yeah, because they typically won't wake up until about 6 a.m. or so. I mean, Ventura County Fire even saying they responded to this even as early as 3.30. So I'm, you know, that's even more just earlier. All right. We're Welcome going to, in. yeah, we want to welcome our KCAL 9 viewers. We are airing on Channel 2 and Channel 9 simultaneously. We have breaking news this morning, a very sad story. to give people the power to build community, to bring the world closer together. This technology can enable groups of people to come together. That was the dream. Make people doubt what the facts are and your trust is eroded. Social media was weaponized. This is a CBS News special report. I'm Anthony Mason in New York. A major rescue operation is underway right now at a burning boat off the California coast. There are reports of fatalities at the scene. The Coast Guard says it's responding to reports of more than 30 people unaccounted for. The 75-foot boat is near Santa Cruz Island, part of the Channel Islands National Park. That's